Hey, what's going on, guys? Paul CQ here. Cassandra Lee, and together we are the, the power, power Couple. Man, go ahead, baby. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Hashtag Free Workshop Wednesday. And today we're going to be talking about how to get money to stick on the web, okay? We're going to be going over a lot of things, man. I love this because it's like a play on words. How to get money to stick on the web. On the web. Like man. the web, right? The computer and the web. And the web. In the web, you know, so I'm excited. You know, we have a really cool training prepared because we're going to show you what we need, right? What we have in place that allows us to wake up just about every morning with money in the account. Yeah, yeah like yeah. new money, not like money from yesterday. Like we wake up, oh, <laughs> there's more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Exactly. Isn't exactly. that a great feeling? Yeah, it's a, it's an amazing feeling, guys. And you know, sometimes a lot. I think that a lot of people sometimes, you know, as we're, we're entering this new age of people going online and making money. There's a lot of different rumors. A lot of people are very skeptical. A lot of people are kind of, gosh, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't make money, blah, 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 right? But the thing is that, guys, if you do not understand how to make money online, what's going to happen to you is that you're going to suffer a very slowly fatal uh, downhill <laughs> death uh, in your money, in your finances, right? right because right. everything is going online the same way, uh, the same way, kind of like those big old TVs, right? Those heavy old TVs that you have to, like, Really heavy with the they had the big butt in the back, the right? Big box. The big box, right? You know, those 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 are really nice at one time, right? I mean they were really expensive too. At, at one, one time. point. At one point, right? But all of a sudden what happened? They got out of style, okay? Man. They were too heavy. Plasmas came in, then the plasmas look, everything is changing literally as we speak, right? And if you are not willing to learn this stuff, What's going to happen, guys, is that you will also get left behind by the math, not actually not by the masses, uh, by the few X-Men that you actually see here, Woo! which I want to introduce you to them, okay? Um, let's, let's, uh, let's introduce you guys to, let's introduce them to Yeah, them, to right? the audience, man. I want you guys to come on out here. I want you to tell everyone who you brought here your name, you know, uh, why you're even on this panel and what you're looking forward to, to tonight's training. Go ahead. Let's start with Miss Tina. Can you hear me? I can hear loud and clear. Okay. <laughs> well, um, I don't know if I brought anybody. I don't think I have. But um, I am looking forward to finding how to stick money to the web. That's what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> awesome. Very cool. Very cool. That's exactly what you're going to get, right, Tina? You're going to get that. I'm excited for you. Let's have uh, Regina. Go ahead. Hey, guys. I'm Regina. I'm from Marion, North Carolina. I'm telling you, I uh, promoted the heck out of this thing, and uh, hopefully there is several people out there who uh, I brought, <laughs> so I can't see if there are or not, so... But I tell you what, you're going to get so much information, so much value from this training alone. I mean, how to get money to stick on the web. I mean, come on. It's definitely not like throwing spaghetti at the wall. <laughs> All right, money's going to stick. But, uh, you know, I, I'm so excited. I'm pumped up. I'm, I'm ready to, to take some really good notes and get some money sticking on the web myself. So, definitely, I'm ready to rock and roll. Hopefully you are too. Damn, very good, man. You know when when you take spaghetti and you try to stick it on the wall, it you know, doesn't work, does it? It doesn't really work that well, and you're really leaving everything up to chance. Like it's not really a strategy, right? It's exactly. not really um, like there's no purpose to it. It's like, well, one of them has to stick. Like I hope, you know what I mean? Whereas what you're gonna learn today are things that are proven to work. Proven. And, it, like, proven. Like, it's, like, not out of theory. Like, this is experiential knowledge. This is something we've experienced, we've seen work, and holy cannoli. Cannoli. Yeah, because, um, you know, cannoli is pretty. Baloney. pretty. This is going to be the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's going to be awesome. I'm excited about it, and, uh, you know, it's going to be great. Let's have James Brown. James. All right, guys, my name is James Brown, originally from Detroit, Michigan, and uh, right now I'm actually over in New Zealand. I, uh, my wife and I decided to go out and start living our dreams, and using this stuff, this system that's on the Internet, I'm excited about it because 
we don't ha we don't we don't have to know how many people we're bringing. It's 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 not like traditional business where uh, where I can where I'm going to go out there and bring tons of people where I have to actually talk to them. Uh, it's awesome because they can come straight from the internet. But I'm excited to learn how to get money to stick on the internet online. This training I'm going to be taking tons of notes. Listen to what these guys are sharing tonight because what they've taught me up to this point has changed my business drastically. So listen closely because you're going to learn something extremely powerful. Awesome. Thank you, James, man. That's exciting. I love the fact that, uh, you know, you're right, man. Your business has changed. It's pretty amazing how, like, a month ago, maybe a little less, you know, uh, it was like, where do I start? Where do I go? What do I do right now? And now it's like you're just taking massive action. I keep seeing your residual income increase. You know, like it's really crazy what's going on in your end of uh, business over there. I, yeah, man, and, and you know you're 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 like it's just your, the beginning, dude. You're, he, James is on his way to you know to to to, to creating a three thousand dollar sale. You know? Yeah, so, yeah, for sure. So congratulations, man. It's just the beginning, and we can't. We're looking forward to it, man. We also have Daniel here, who's not feeling so well. He keeps coughing, so his intro might sound like, "Yeah, this is Dan, <coughs> Mr. <Will> <coughs> <laughs> so, you know, he said skip me for now, but we want to let you know, Dan, that we love you, dude. We hope that you feel better. I know you're listening in. And if anyone came here from Daniel, Mr. Whatever It Takes, and his wife, Two People, One Vision, Miss Rebecca, um, you know, guys, they're here and excited and ready to rock and roll. And if you came because they brought you here, they want you to know it is going to be an awesome training. It's going to be training. Gonna be great. So, so, let's stop so we're gonna get started now, right? Let's get started. Now, now we're gonna get started, okay? Like we're gonna, we're gonna get started. We're gonna get started. Like, right are now. we gonna get started? No, no, stop saying it because now they're gonna think we're not. We were like we're waiting. We're just not gonna get started. Like, we don't have. We didn't plan it. So. Well, then maybe we didn't. No, we did. No, I'm just kidding, man. Guys, yeah. if you're here for the first time, welcome to hashtag Free Workshop Wednesdays. If this is something you con con uh, consistently come to, hey. We love the fact that you're here, man. It is yeah, going yeah. to be an awesome training. Dude, thank and you for coming. Get your notebooks out. Start taking notes. It is going to be awesome, okay? So before we touch this lovely web that I drew myself, right? I'm pretty, pretty good, right? I should, I should. Yeah, the yeah, artist. You should, you should. You think so? Yeah, sure. I can monetize it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, before we get into that, there's three things that we need you to know before we hit it, okay? You know, in nice. order. No, 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 no. In order for you. To be able to create a web of money, there's a formula that you need before you can create the web, okay? So if you think of a spider, the spider doesn't just make a web, right? The spider, it, it, it really like, it, 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 it inspects. It inspects the location of where the web would be most diligently sustainable, right? If this, is this web going to last here? They really inspect the situation, the environment, before they put a web there, okay? And this is really important because you, they, they do their best at least, right? They, they, sometimes they get caught. We notice it and we're like, oh, no, a spider, right? But if we can take that same concept of how a spider inspects the location and says, okay, well, I can, I can you know, connect this to this, and then I can connect that to that. And then if I connect it to here, you know what? I think I'll have a solid web here that I can sleep on, right? That I can rely on. And if we can take that same concept, this web means absolutely nothing if you don't have a place to plant it, okay? So there's a formula and a way of inspection before you go about creating the web. And here it is. So I want you to write it down, okay? The first one is what, baby? The offer. Good. What does that even mean? What does that mean? Well, let's put it this way, guys, okay? It's your offer, okay? So when you're online and you're looking to, to make money stick on the web, the first thing you need to understand is you have to have an offer, right? Now, the offer is not as important as what we're going to share with you because we have, you want to make sure that what the offer has includes a couple of these things that we're going to be sharing with you guys so you understand that the offer that you're either having or the offer you're looking for to actually start monetizing online is actually the right offer. Absolutely. So there's a way to really inspect the offer, okay? So the first thing that you're looking for is sustainability. Okay? Exactly. You want to make sure that the offer is sustainable, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It needs to be sustainable. If it isn't sustainable, and, and what does sustainable mean? Like, can you quit your job and rely on this one offer? Will that offer be there for only a few years? 
or can you count on that offer being there for a lifetime? Exactly, okay? exactly. You know, those are things you want to look at. The second thing you want to look at is does that offer provide what? Residual. Exactly. Residual income, guys. This is what this is what a lot of people want to talk about, right? They want to, they want to talk about residual income, right? What we want to let you guys know is that when you go ahead and, and you know, what we teach here in our team is how to protect the residual, right? We call it bulletproof residual, mm. how to protect your residual income. So this way, you just, I mean, there's certain things that you do. I ain't going to talk about it right now. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, residual income is We're, really important. I'm going to give you the blueprint, the outline, right? Because Val and I, we, I mean, we sell a ton of things, right? We have a web of money, right, that we can just create. The thing is, is that we are very meticulous. We're very, very, very picky on what it is that we actually will start adding to our money web. Because if it doesn't meet our criteria, it's not worth our time. So again, number one, it's, is it sustainable, the offer? Number two, right, so number one is the offer, and uh -huh. then there's bullet points, right? So yeah. is the offer sustainable? Does it provide a residual, right? The third one is does it pay you what you're worth, okay? Does it pay you what you're worth? Does it pay you what you're worth, meaning... Exactly. I like I mean, when you talk about that. Hey, look, listen, you know, what are you really worth? I mean, you're certainly not worth, you know, I think I think two or three percent, right? I think you're worth more than that. And you know, a lot of these offers out there don't offer you as much money as you can potentially make. And what I mean by that is a certain percentage. You gotta they kinda cut you a little tiny NC Winnie Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, tiny NC Winnie are uh, a piece of commission, right? Yeah. I mean you look at Amazon, right? Not throwing any name under the bus. But if you become an affiliate marker with Amazon, you make like any, I don't know, I mean like 2 or 3%, right? Yeah. I mean, which means that you would have to sell a whole lot of stuff to actually see a significant amount of money, right? Absolutely. So normally what we typically look at offers, what we like to look at as, uh, as uh, something that would be a good offer, is anywhere from 20 to about, uh, I'm sorry, not 20. What, what am I saying? Get out of my face. Dude, I would never uh, say, I would uh, never uh, Sell something Dude, that gives 20%. Look, I meant to say anywhere from 70, 70 to 90%. 70 okay? to 100, I would say. Yeah, think. 70 to 100% is pretty good, right? Because now you're actually making way more money with less amount of sales, right? Absolutely. Look, Look, isn't that better? It's a lot better. It's it, almost it, like, you know, you creating your own product. Think about it. You And the way you figure this out is, is, I don't know what you do, I don't know what you sell, but imagine, okay? If you sell one package of whatever you sell, let's say it's a $250 package, how much do you take home? Is it nothing? Is it something? What is that something? And then you divide that into the 250, which allows you to see the percentage. Is it a $500 product? Is it a $700 product? Whatever it is that you're selling, you want to know the percentage of that you're actually making. Dude, is it really what you're worth? I remember. I don't care. I don't look. I don't. I don't care if this is going to be. Hold on. Uh -huh. I don't care if it's a 30% commission that can eventually pay me a million dollars. It can. Like, if I keep selling 30% of something, I can make a million dollars because there's no there's no top. Yeah, right? yeah. It, it, there's an, it's unlimited. However, what if I was selling 70% of it? I would get to a million faster. Like, me and Valo, right, we do not at all accept an offer that does not pay us 70% or more. Yeah, 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 exactly. And, you know, when we got started, um, you know, we, we were actually, I think one time we sold like a $500 product, mm -hmm. and we got we received a $20 check, right? You remember that? <laughs> okay, and you see, those are the kind of things that, you know, although exciting, you know, we actually had to put our time. I mean, we spent a couple of a couple of hours with this, this young couple, right, and we got them to pull out their credit card, and, uh, and money did come out their credit card. The only thing is that, like, like it didn't I, go to us. Almost <laughs> everything went to someone else's bank account, and, right. and we only got to keep uh, just a, a little, a little piece, a crumb. right? A crumb. I mean, you know, like when, like, I, you ever have like that little annoying dog when you go to someone's family's house, and it's just, that dog's just like looking at you, like with this little sad puppy face, right? <laughs> it's just like following you. It's just looking at you. It's just waiting for that little crumb of, of a little steak, a little chicken, a little piece of onion that goes on the floor, and then he quickly just goes on the floor. He kind of licks it. But right? the, only, the only difference that the dog didn't put any effort in making that food. No, he didn't put no effort. We did, right? right? We did. We put effort in making that food, and we only got the crumb, right? And, and that's that's the thing. That I mean, I'm not worth 20%. I'm not worth 10%. I'm not worth 30%. I'm not worth 50%. Uh -huh. I'm worth 70% or more. 70% or more. Uh, that's not worth. Exactly. Right? Exactly. I want to make big money. I want to make big money with smaller people. The yeah. last thing is, is it scalable? Exactly. What does that mean? Is it scalable? Which means that you have the ability 
to actually make more than what they what they offer. So let me give you an example, right? I mean, in today's society, everything is an upsell. I mean, you go to McDonald's, <laughs> okay? You you order a meal and say you order a sandwich and say, would you like the meal? And you're like, oh, okay, I'll get the meal. You, you order the meal and say, would you like would you like large fries in that, right? Everything is an upsell, you know. And if you don't have if, you, if your business does not have an upsell where you can actually make more money from the people that you currently have, then is it really worth it? And here's what I mean, right? That's powerful. I mean, I mean, I know there's certain there's certain offers where I mean you can only make the that amount of money, and that person's willing that person is willing and able to put out more money into something, but because there's no other upsell, there's no other product that they can potentially buy. That's it. Meaning you, yeah. It's like you're 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 losing out on how much money because the offer doesn't have an upsell. You know, here's the deal, right? I mean, I was talking to someone earlier this morning, okay, and look, listen. It's it's so funny, right? How people will like, well, I don't understand why you have an upsell. I mean, I feel like <laughs> all of these things have upsells. I feel like all of these things you have to pay more and more and more and more and more and more. Right? It's like I just want to learn how to market online. I was like, Well, did you honestly think that you were gonna learn that for seven dollars? And I said to her, I was like, I was like, let me tell you something, okay? I said, Look, listen, if you went to college to get a doctor's degree and you went in there and you did that same fit. You th you went off on a rant, what you just did right now, okay? And you started just blah 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 like that, right? Imagine if you started doing that. You know what would happen? And she said, "What would happen?" I was like, "People will point at you and laugh at you, and then they will kick you out and say, get out of here.' Now, would you do that?" She's like, "No." I was like, "Well, it's the same thing, guys. You're gonna be learning a, a skill set, right? So an upsell. I mean, even though I a lot of people business, don't like it, I think a business is stupid if there's no upsell. Yeah, even though people don't like it. Here's the deal, guys. At the end of the day. You have to have an upsell you need it. because it helps you make more money. It does. Right? McDonald's but, got freaking look, upsells. The first thing you need to understand about this before the offer is that you have to be okay with buying stuff, okay? Because if you're not okay with buying stuff, you will attract people into your business who don't like to buy. Bam! Right? Who don't like to buy. And then what's going to happen, right? But what if you were on the other spectrum where you are getting the upsells? It's a lot better, isn't it? Well, before you can be on that other side, you have to be the one willing to be obedient to the system, which is the offer, right? Yeah. And then willing to buy the upsell, right? That's so right. Every business should have an upsell, right? Get, forget about people saying they don't have money. Oh, ah, man, I don't want my offer to have an upsell. Right. What you're literally saying is that you don't want to make more money off your potential customers who are willing and able to give you more money. Yeah, man. So here you go. You have the number one, which is offer, and four things that you want to use as a as a blueprint to making sure that offer is worth it. Is it is it what? Sustainable? Sustainable? Does it give you a residual? Does it give you a residual? Does it pay you what you're worth? Does it pay you what you're worth? And it, is it scalable? scalable. This exactly. is so important. Okay? Four things just from that one thing. Alright, the second thing that you want to use before you can build your web is a system. There has to be a system in place in order for you to take this thing to the top, right? Now what does a system stand for? Say yourself Time, energy, energy and, and money. money. Write that down. Save a yourself system. time, energy, and Save money. Save yourself time, energy, and money. You need a system you in a place system. You need that's going system. to help you take your business to the next place. So what are you looking for when you, when you, when you look at the systematic approach of it? Okay. Well, number one, is it autom automatable? I don't even know if that's a word. But look, is it automatic? Okay. okay. This is what it means. It, can, can it work for you? Can you get your business to work for you instead of you working for your business? I mean, this is the reason why I love the internet, guys, okay? Because people online are up at all times of the hours of the day in all over the world, okay? Let me give you an example of a brick and mortar business, okay? Look, when that brick and mortar business shuts up, okay? I mean, when that brick and mortar when it's close time. When it closes down, ain't nobody going to be able to get in that store to buy anything, okay? Because it's not The only hours that people can buy are considered through the business hours, okay? Of that community. Okay, of that community. Now, online, it works It works completely different, okay? And there's no I mean, we, clothes. we made a sale like around, I don't know, like 4 o'clock in the morning today, okay? Mm -hmm. Like a trial sale, right? Mm -hmm. From one of the offers that we currently promoted, maybe or maybe not, you might have the opportunity to actually get to see what we're part of and get to see what these individuals are part of, okay? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe you might be able to maybe. see Maybe. I mean, okay? it's not, sorry. Yeah. We might want to keep it to ourselves, right? not just kidding. Exactly. But look, listen, that's what we're doing. Okay? Yeah. I mean, seriously, guys, you, you got to make sure it's automated because if it isn't an automated system, what you're going to find happening is that you're going to be a slave to your business. 
Now, I know why you got in business. It's the same reason why Tina got in business, same reason why Regina got in business, James got in business, exactly. Daniel and Rebecca got in business, yeah. we got in business. You. The reason why we got in business is so that we can develop financial freedom and or time freedom, right? Exactly. We want both. What we notice in today's society is that some people have a lot of financial freedom, but not time freedom. Or they have time freedom, but no financial freedom. How can we help you get both, right? Well, that's what business is for, but what's the point in starting a business if you're going to basically be employed to your business, right? You want to make sure the system is an automated system, okay? What's the second thing that you want to make sure the system does? Is it duplicatable? Exactly. Is it a duplicatable system? What does that mean? Basically? That means that, look, listen, are we the only ones making the money, or can can it be possible that when someone comes in here or someone – picks up the offer, or maybe our offer that we might be sharing with you at the end of the webinar, or maybe not, okay? Can, can it be possible for you to get in and actually create some money on the web, right? Can it, can, it, can it really be possible for you not to do it in a year, but for you to actually create your first sale maybe within the next week or maybe within a couple of days, right? And you know what? If the answer is yes, then it just goes to show that it's a duplicatable, I'm sorry, duplicatable, right? Mm -hmm. It's a duplicatable system. I mean, you got James Brown, you know, who came in here, and now he's just crushing it, man. He's making a lot of sales, right? So congratulations to you. Yeah, you got man. Tina who made eight sales in 24 hours. You have Regina who's made sales, right? So people are making sales on this panel, which is which. by any case, if any of them did bring you or anyone outside of this brought you here, you want to go ahead and just, you know, just keep paying close attention because you're at the right place at the right time. Absolutely, man. Are you guys getting it? You can't just build a web. See, a lot of people go, ooh, money, that sounds nice. And they start leaning into, like, the light, like a bug does towards the light, right? Exactly. Without even realizing, like, that's not even a, sol a solidified system or, or place to build, right? Exactly. You, again, you need the offer that's yeah. sustainable. Uh -huh. You need an offer that's going to give you a residual, yeah. an offer that's going to pay your worth, an offer that's going to be scalable, right? You need a system that's automated, right? You need a system that is... Uh, 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 duplicatable, and what's the last thing, baby? A system that that is uh, scalable as well, right? Exactly. You want to make sure that the system is scalable. Like it doesn't, it doesn't just stop, right? It's something that you can continuously do. It continues to work for you, right? So it's it's actually it's automatable, right? Uh huh. Okay. It's duplicatable. Uh, it's it's uh no, it's actually uh yeah, it's it's that, but it's actually called uh re replicatable, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. Oh no no no. <laughs> It has to be, it has to be convertible. Convertible. Right. There you go. There you go. It has to be convertible. Okay. What does this mean? Well, if somebody comes into the system, right, are they going to convert into a sale? If not, why are you in it, right? Here's the deal. Right? It needs That's, to be. There needs, it needs to be a to be, high. It needs to be really hot, right? Because what I mean by that is that the problem has to be massive in the marketplace, right? Yes. It has to be something that people. That's a really, really big problem, right? And what's the biggest problem right now that's happening on the internet? Here's the problem, okay? There's a massive group of people that are now becoming aware of what's happening online, and they want a piece of it, right? Mm. So that's a problem in itself. But that problem in itself has a problem. And the problem is that they know people can make money online, but they don't know how to get there because there's a lot of systems that don't tell you how to do it. So they need a bridge. So even though it's a big problem, right? There's also a problem within that problem, right? And what we actually offer here is the ability to bridge that over. We know that you, you, you we, we know why you're watching this, right? Because you want to learn how to get money to stick to the web, right? Absolutely. You want to understand these skill sets, right? But there's a problem, right? And that's the reason why we are in this niche right now, mm -hmm. this moment currently, because it's trending, okay? It is trending. You know how many people are finally starting to wake up? They know people are making money. They're finally deciding to burn the skepticism that making online is an illusion and making online is actually possible, right? And because that's such a big, big problem, people are selling the solution to these problems through digital information. Damn. Now, we live in the information age where people want to learn information. People want to pay to learn how to do a certain thing. And that's what's happening. Look at YouTube. Look how big YouTube is. Look how humongous YouTube is, right? It's so big, Google bought them, right? Why? Because people no longer want to read books. They'd rather just learn it through just digital training, which is videos, vlogs, right? Absolutely. Everything man. is turning. Look, listen, I promise you that is going to be trending for a really long time. And the group of people that are on this panel that decide to stick with this and not, and, you know, decide to kind of stick by our hip and decide to go to the next, to the next level – they're going to be making a lot of money, and so are you. If you actually start paying close attention, 
you start taking some of these notes and you start taking action on it. Absolutely, man. Guys, if you're getting any value from this, big, bigger understanding, better understanding, I need you to put it in the comments. Let us know because if not, we'll just end the webinar and we'll have a good night, right? Now, let us know what's going on. Are you getting value? Is it making sense? If you have any questions, put it in there. We want to answer it for you, right? The last thing we want to do, you're so weird. The last thing we want to do, right, is, is now you want to make sure you have traffic, okay? Now, what good is a system? What good is an offer? What good is a web if you're not getting any traffic that helps convert and bring in the money to stick on the web, right? This is like the biggest, biggest, biggest challenge a lot of people have. One of the biggest, yeah. One of the biggest, right? How, you know, okay, I got the system. I got the offer. I got this. But look, listen, every time I get into one of these things, I never really understand how to get traffic. I never understand how to get some traction in my business. Absolutely. So one thing that you want to look at when you're dealing with traffic is do you have a strategy? Do you have a strategy? Kind of right? like what Regina said. She was like, man, take spaghetti. It's not about taking spaghetti and throwing it on a wall. It, it just barely works. And that's what a lot of people do in this industry. Well, I'm just going to take my link and I'm just going to promote it. Dude, I'm just going to take my... That's taking spaghetti, throwing it on a wall. I'm, I'm going to take my pile of cash and I'm just going to dump it and somehow money is just going to multiply. No, like there needs to be a strategy. You need Look, to have a strategy, strategic plan. Which we have, by the way. We do have a strategy, exactly. right? Exactly. We have several strategies that people here have used to make sales and what we currently do as well, right? Absolutely. We have different strategies, okay? So you have to have a strategy. This is just like anything else. Yeah, you know and once you have that strategy, the next thing that you need to do is make sure the traffic is something that is... Scalable, right? Man. Target marketing. You need, guys. To have, you need to have a target, target market marketing. and you need to make sure it's scalable. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about target marketing for a second, okay? Let me give you an example, okay? You have to understand look, the best way I can tell you what target marketing is, is basically targeting somebody right at the moment when they're ready to make a buying decision. The second way I can explain to you how target marketing works and how you can get really good at this is look, you know somebody right now and you know them very well. That person happens to be you mm. okay take a, take a self take a look at yourself for a second okay take a look at the problems that you may have in your life at this moment take a look for take a look at some of the things you face some of the challenges you're currently in some of the challenges you currently overcome right some of the skepticism you had when you first came in okay check that out there's someone out there should I say there's about a thousand and hundreds of thousands of people that can probably relate with you Mm. Which means that if you specifically target someone like yourself, and the only way you'll figure out who they are is by understanding who yourself is, okay? So I'll give you a couple of examples, okay? Let's look at, I deal with a lot of these people, but a lot of them are jumping on board. A lot of people who are, are hitting their late 40s, okay, late 50s, early 60s, they're all jumping on board. You have no idea how many of them I talk to throughout the day, okay? And they're all deciding to get in for this one reason. So if you're around this age, I'm actually giving you a little, some golden stuff here, okay? What's their problem? They have now saved all of their life, and now they're thinking about retirement. And guess what? Their job ain't paying them enough. Some of them aren't employed. Some of them are collecting disability. Some of them have no money coming in, which, is, and which creates a beautiful opportunity by presenting a problem to the marketplace, and now they have to look for a solution, right? So that would be a form of target marketing, right? Now, you can do that. You can certainly do that. Now, who's gonna rent who's gonna resonate better with them, right? I mean, is it gonna be I mean, I'm not I mean, I'm not sixty two years old yet, right? So I'm I'm not sure the responsibility some of the people have, right? But who would who would create a better message? Who would they be able to resonate with someone? You know, if they see my face Hey, what's going on, guys? I understand. <laughs> Look, listen, you're 62 years old, aren't you? I know how it feels. I know how it feels. Okay. Look, listen, you don't got no money in the bank. Okay, I get it. Hey, I feel the same way. Look, listen, look, I'm collecting some disability right now. Look, you'll be like, who the hell is this kid? This kid's like 15 years old. Look, but that, that's a that's a huge scam, right? That's a, that's like scam written all over. Dude, and it might not be a scam. It's but it's because you're targeting the wrong market, right? Yeah. yeah. Look, we just realized Man, this stuff. What target is marketing is huge. Without it, it look, you're you're just prolonging like the like you're just basically taking the longest way. Dude, to it took us so long to make our first sale because we were targeting everyone. Yes. Yeah. And then and then and then we realized that. He, you know, we're learning as we're doing this. Yeah, right? man. And then we realized that we lost them so much freaking money because we decided to target what everyone targets when we get started. Yeah. Look. Now it's finally our eyes have opened. Now we're targeting people like ourselves.
Absolutely, man. It's just that simple, guys. Once you have your target market, you need to make sure that that traffic is scalable. Is there a limit to the traffic? Is it reliable? Can you go back and always get more? That's so important because if it isn't scalable, then what, what's the point in, in using that traffic? It's like I get it once. Well, I can never use that traffic again. Now what do you got to do? You got to do a traffic strategy, huh? We were, we were once talking to this guy who avoided the answer. And the answer was, well, first he came out with a just completely resistant, okay, has it, just very skeptical guy, okay? He's like, look, listen, I don't understand why I need to buy more training. I don't understand why I need to buy more stuff, blah, 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 blah. With, you know, I, I've already tried, I already tried throwing traffic at this thing, and it's, I didn't even get a lead, and I got 1,670 clicks. And we're like, damn, how many did you get? He's like, actually, I actually got 13,000 clicks, and none, not one of them, not one of them, okay, became a lead or a sale. And then we're like, dude, where'd you get the traffic from? I already told you I got 13,000 leads. I was like, dude, can you just tell me where you not got the traffic from? Not leads. I'm sorry, hit, clicks. clicks, right? I was like, dude, just tell me the truth, man. Tell me where you got the traffic from. Ah, I got it from Fiverr. It's like, dude, you're telling me you... Uh, you Fiverr is a place where you pay like five bucks for anything. Dude, you're telling me that you're mad and, and you're complaining and you're saying that this doesn't work because you bought something for five bucks and you... And you honestly thought that was good traffic? Like, what in the world? I mean, we all be rich, right? If, if traffic, if we just bought stuff from Fiverr and then expected it to convert, right? We, I mean, look, listen, I was deceived too when I got started. We bought something from Fiverr, right? Didn't we get like friends? Oh no, we bought likes. We bought Facebook likes, right, on our fan page, and we're like, oh my god. Fiverr will give you 500 likes, which they were like, but the problem was that none of those likes were targeted. Were targeted. They didn't care about anything. They don't care about them, dude. They don't know engagement. Zero. Right? You know, and this is so crazy, man. This is crazy because if you don't understand that, what happens is that you just begin to do what, what Regina said. Spaghetti on a wall. But that ain't going to help. You want to plant this, this, this spider web in, in a good place that's going to last. So let's talk about it now, okay? I drew four boxes here, okay? And I'm going to have you do this, draw the same thing. You don't have to draw it down. You can draw it to the side, right? Just have one box arrow, one box arrow, or one box arrow, one box arrow, right? And, and just draw it, okay? The first box represents a filter, which is a piece of content, okay? So let's put content. Now, what I want you to do is think of different things that equal content, okay? Well, you have, well, number one, you have uh, emails. Emails is content. Blogs. You have blogs. Blogs is content, right? Blogs. You have videos. Videos are content. You have pictures. Pictures are content. You have audios. Audios are content. You have hmm, shows. Shows, right? You have. There's so many different ways, right, to create content. And I want you to think of it now. Once you know what the content is, you break that down even further to how to syndicate that content. How do you take that audio and make it multi-purpose on different audio platforms like SoundCloud, like Stitcher, like iTunes, right? You take that one audio and you make it uh, uh, syndicatable to all these different platforms. Or a blog. You don't just take the blog, you syndicate that blog to different areas of platforms that host blogs. Like articles, like like a uh, uh, freaking uh, Tumblr blog blogger uh, uh, hub post. I forgot whatever. Anyway, there's a there's a whole bunch, right? There's a whole bunch. So you take pieces of content and then you 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 dissect that even more to saying what places can this one piece of content go on? What places can a picture go on? What places can a video go on? What places can an audio go on? You gotta ask yourselves these questions, right? Then, from the content, you have something called a capture page, okay? Some type of capture mechanism. You can call it a squeeze page, you can call it a landing page, you can call it a capture page. And what this does is it captures someone's information, whether it's their name, whether it's their email, whether it's their phone number, you need some type of capturing mechanism, okay? So you have content, then you have the capture mechanism. After you capture their, their information, the next thing is a bridge page, okay? This is where you build your first step of rapport, where you introduce who you are, right? And from the bridge page, then you have something called the sales page. Now this right here is called the sales funnel, okay?
okay? There are many different kinds of funnels that you can use, but this is just an overall basic idea, okay? So you have content, you dissect the content, you have a capture page. What you want to do now is dissect the capture page. Different ways to help that capture page convert at the highest rate, which we're not going to talk about today. It's a whole other training, which we go over when you guys decide to get involved into this team, this program, this system, that we show you exactly how to do that. From there, you then have a bridge page, which you can also do different bridge pages to test which one converts the highest. Then you have a sales page, and then you choose which sales page again converts the highest. So these are the components, but there's many ways to dissect it, okay? When you have this in place, me and the water baby, yeah. what happens? It produces moolah. It produces moolah, man. Once you have this in place, this converts money. When you have this in place, it converts money. It's, it's, this is so simple, it is ridiculous, okay? It, I mean, look. Let me ask you something. Are, are you excited? Like, are you getting it? Like, or is it, did it, did it not, are, is it just, what's going on? What, what's going on here? Are you getting it? Let me get some feedback from the panel here, man. Whoever wants to meet themselves. There you go. Oh, yeah, this is like, this is massive value here. I'm talking step by step. You guys are just breaking it down to where just anybody can, can understand this. This is awesome. I love it, man. That's my only goal. I want everyone in the world to understand this as much as possible because, man, seriously, I, I was having a conversation with someone today, and, and the guy was telling me that, you know, he's tried every system in the book, and he's still broke. And so he's hesitant to try a new system or a new program. And I asked him, I said, dude, well, how long have you given each of these systems or programs? He's like, I give it my all for two weeks or a month. And I was like, what? What? Two weeks or a month? And I was like, man, I don't mean to be offensive, but I'm only going to tell you the truth. Because I believe everyone deserves a chance to succeed. See, a lot of people don't succeed because they're operating on false information. And I can't stand it. Man, I've been at rock bottom. I remember waking up feeling like I don't know what the heck to do. I remember looking at myself like how much longer am I going to be here? I remember. I remember saying this has to be my last birthday that we can't do anything. My last Christmas where I can't buy anyone anything. I remember saying these things. And so I want to give everything that I've learned all my experiences and let you borrow them so you no longer have to go through unnecessary struggles. Like I want to, I, I mean, I ate it all up and I broke it down so you guys can go, aha, I get it and apply it. Aha, I get it and apply it. But shame on you if you don't apply it, man. Shame on you if you're sitting here listening to this potent information that Paolo and I have prepared for you and you do absolutely nothing with it Something is wrong, literally, with your head. I told that guy, I said, man, you know what's crazy? The only common denominator I see between you and all those companies that you failed with is you. Because every company works. Every program works. Everything. It works. What doesn't work is you. And you got to change that, man. I said, I cannot. I said, until you make the conscious decision that you're willing to do whatever it takes, no matter what, for at least a year, right? I like to say this, man, if you've been struggling for 17 years, you got to give your success 17 years, right? I, I, at least do yourself that favor, right? At least do yourself that favor. Until you make that conscious decision, there's nothing I can do to help you. Because everything that I'll say will go in one ear and out the other. And I want to make sure that I'm talking to the right crowd, man. Are you guys getting it? I want somebody else to give some feedback. Well, I think this is completely awesome. Um, you can do a like a video, and then do a blog about the video, and then you can do a podcast, and then you can put the audio on iTunes. So yeah, I mean yes, you break it down so 
bit by bit, you can just understand it completely. So I think this is completely awesome. <laughs> man, yo, Tina just got it. Tina got it, man. Tina, you should just teach the rest, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. That's awesome. So check this out. Wait, wait, wait. We don't put too much money there, right? So now I'm going to take this box, right? Imagine that this box is, is already connected and chained to this whole process with the money. So if I'm carrying that box, it's carrying everything with it, okay? So now what you do, you have a web. You're going to build a web, okay? And you can do something like Tina said. So I have one piece of content. Somebody, name a piece of content. Unmute yourself, name a piece of content. Go. The blog. Okay, so a blog. Okay, so I'm going to take this blog, right? I'm going to put it somewhere else, like on uh, Tumblr. So this same blog, I put it on Tumblr, so it connects, which links back to this, which links back to that, right? Which makes sure that it leads all where? To this whole funnel. I'm going to take that same blog, and I'm going to make a video on that blog. I'm going to take that video, and I'm going to put it on YouTube. Take that YouTube video, I'm going to put it on my blog. So I'm going to connect it here, right? I'm going to take uh, this YouTube video, and I'm going to put it on social media. I'm going to take the audio of that video, make it a podcast. I'm going to take the podcast, and I'm going to put it on SoundCloud. I'm going to take that SoundCloud, and I'm going to put it on my website. I'm going to take that website and I'm going to put it on my blog. I'm going to take that blog and I'm going to put it on my social media. Do you see what I'm doing? you see what I'm doing? Then I'm going to send an email. I'm going to send an email about that blog of the video that has the audio that's on my Facebook, that's on Tumblr, that's on my, my everything. You, you get what I'm saying? Is it, like, look at this, guys. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous, man. This is crazy. So you, you start building a web, and everything is just interconnected, and it all leads back where? To money. It all leads back there. Every single one of these pieces of content all have the capture page, all have a bridge page, all have a sales page, all leads to money. It all leads to money. Now, how fast do you want to build a web that gets money to stick. If you want to build it fast, I do this all day, every day. I marry my computer, and I would do it all day, every day. I'm driving. I'm going to record an audio. I'm going to record a video. I'm going to I'm gonna freaking talk a post so it can type it out for me. You, got, you know, smartphones do that. Don't play, y'all. Smartphones, they do that. Pay five bucks to someone to edit it correctly, and then go ahead and post it. If you ain't got no time, you need to make time. I just told you how to do it if you ain't got no time, right? Then you spend the last few minutes and hours of your night just taking that content and putting it everywhere. Do that all day, every single day. That you will make some noise like you won't believe. People are gonna go, I don't even know what the hell you do, but I love it. I'm just, I'm just, I love it. So you do all of this, that leads all back to this. What happens? The center of this, Paolo wrote a whole bunch of money signs. I don't know if you can see that. But the center of this is your bank account. And each piece of money is just falling into the bank account. It's just coming through that web. It's just coming. It's just, it's just nonstop just coming into the web. The web is just building money that sticks. It's just nonstop, man. Exactly this, really good. This, is, this, is a, this is a sexy trick. I wish somebody broke this down when I first got started. Like, like, none of this made any sense to me. None of it. None of it. None of it. They just said, just put content out there. Just just blog daily. Just just do it. And I was like, but, but, what? How? Why? I don't, I don't get it, right? Look, I just gave it all to you in a matter of like five minutes. Like, what you need to do? What you, this is what you need, this is literally what you need to do. Don't worry about the technical stuff. Don't worry about it. You want to learn how to create the capture page, the highest converting one? You want to learn how to split test? Join the team. You want to learn how to do a bridge page that converts effectively? How to talk on video that sells? Join the team. You want to learn how to do a sales video that gets someone to pull out the credit card and buy? 
join the team. You want to learn how to take this content and syndicate it faster? Join the team. You want to learn how to make this automatable and make this a process that's easy? Join the freaking team. Just join the team because that's what we're going to do. I'm going to teach you how to do it. You want to learn how to take the people who give you their email, who give you their phone number, phone number, and how to follow up with them, right, so that you can increase the sales. Join the, the team. team. Join the team, man. It's that simple. I want to help you make money. I'm tired of seeing people struggle. I was talking to someone today, right? And this guy, man, I'm talking to him, and he's like, hey, I just, I just want your opinion, right? I saw a speech you did a year ago, and I loved it. I saw the last few minutes, and I knew you were a winner. I knew you were a champion. I knew you were someone I needed to talk to. What do you do now? It's been a whole year. I haven't heard any. What do you do now? And, he, and I told him a little bit, and I was like, how about you? He's like, well, I'm thinking of something. I want your opinion on it. Can we meet? So we set up a Skype meeting. I'm on a Skype with this guy, and he starts sharing with me what he's about to get involved into. He wants to know my opinion. And I share a little bit, a little bit, very little, right? Just components. And I totally forgot where I was going with this story. Oh, sorry, friend. No. Was he, cool? I was was he actually a cool guy? Somewhere I was going, damn it. I totally, you know, I totally forgot where I was going with this story. No, check this out, man. What was I saying? I was saying something about Dude, you were talking joining about the team and just doing all this Do you stuff. Like the no, man, what the hell was I saying? Can you tell me what I was saying? Dude, I was I don't saying know. Something. talking about this guy. I, didn't even, I don't even know I was talking to this guy. About. No, literally, this guy, right? So then, what happened? Oh, this is what happened, right? So he goes, damn, how old are you? I go, I'm 23, man. He's like, I'm 23. I got to step in my game. You got all this going for you? You got three businesses? You got this? You got that? You got this? And he was like, man, I need to step in my game. I said, dude, I need to step up my game. He's like, what do you mean? I was like, man, I was watching Selena, right? Selena is my all-time, like, the reason why I started dreaming big at the age of five, right? My father hooked me on that movie, and I'm hooked till this day, right? I was watching it this past weekend. And something crazy happened, man. You know, Selena died March 31st, 1995. Unexpected death, man. Not fair. I'm freaking 23. She was 23, man. It is not fair. This woman impacted the world at the age of 23. The world. She did that. And out of nowhere, her life is taken. I need to step up my game. I'm 23. Who have I impacted? A speck compared to what she did? I have to step up my game. I got to do more. Guys, tomorrow isn't promised. What are you doing with today? How are you making today count so much so that when you pass, the world feels it. The world can say, man, I will never forget this moment when Tina said, this moment when Regina did, this moment when Nico told me, this moment when James said, the moment when Daniel and Rebecca explained or showed me, right? When you want people to say those things. I have to catch up. I'm 23. What are you doing? 23, right? I got to catch up, man. This woman did it so much faster than I did. I wonder, like, what could have she, what, what more could she have done? Her death wasn't for nothing, man. Her death was not for nothing. That woman lived a strong, impactful life, more effective than most people do when they reach 40s and 50s. Way more effective at 23. Like, seriously, I have to catch up, right? And I'm not old. I'm young. I'm thinking this way. So to catch up on time I've lost to affect the same amount of people she possibly did, I gotta go crazy on this web. I gotta build the biggest web bigger than anyone for me to do just some of the impact. And so do you. How much time have you lost? How much time have you lost? How many lives are you trying to impact? What kind of mark are you planning on leaving in this world? Is it a tickle? Or are you trying to step on it? Like, what, what are you trying to do? you got to create a web of, of systems that's going to just get money to stick 
Don't be afraid of the word money. You need it to move and shift the things in this world. Money is not bad. You need money. Money can allow you to do and move more things, impact more people. Get it, man. This system is what works. This is the web you need. Man, build a web, change your life, get money to stick, man. Yeah, Bala was born with, with some, of that, some of that ADD, man. No. <laughs> he's all over the place. I don't know what the heck he's Dude, doing. Dude, man, man, I've messed this up, man. Because I was trying to put this background music while she was going on. You don't need it, man. You don't need it. I think it would have been cool. But you don't need it, dude. Get out of here. <laughs> I, I don't know about you, man. But that's, she, that was getting pretty dramatic. Look, listen, guys. We're just we're just about uh, coming to an end here, right? And before you guys leave, uh, you know, here's here's what, here's what the deal is, right, guys? Someone invited you here. And we did give you, and we did promise you that there might be an opportunity for you to get in and join the team, right? Now, why is it that you want to join the team now, and why do you want to do it right now, right? Well, they both are the same thing, so you just should get, you should just get in now, right? But look, guys, 2014 is just about to be done, right? And you probably have heard this speech before, but it's not the speech that you think it is, right? Look, listen, a lot of people, you know, they, they save up all their money for Christmas just to go broke, right? And what I encourage you is that, you know, instead of going broke this year again, instead of, you know, you know, doing what you have to do, you know, going crazy for Christmas, doing this, this, and that, right? I think a better present that you can take away for the holidays is the decision that you make today, the decision to develop a new skill set, the decision to do more, right? Because currently, where you are right now is probably not where you should be at at this moment. And because of some of the decisions that you've made or maybe you haven't been very responsible you know, why make another decision, which is not making one, right, to develop the skill set when everything's going online, which would then make you even more irresponsible. And then when you tell your story 10, 20 years from now, you're going to have people laugh at you because they're going to say, you didn't get in? Dude, you didn't get in? Go ahead and get in. Dude, let's we'll just get in. Right, and people are going to talk to you that way. And you're going to say, well, it's not that big of a deal, you know? And that's what you're going to do. You're going to justify, right? And instead of justifying, you have the opportunity right now to get in, right? So when you get in, what exactly is going to happen? You're going to click on that banner right there, and there's going to be a uh, safe and secure order form that you're going to be filling out, right? But you see, one of the tools that we give out to everyone who joins our team is a blog, right? A blog where they can start branding themselves, right? They can start writing content, right? And they can start getting stuff online, like my wife mentioned, so you can start having some of the stuff stick here, right? And look, here's the deal, guys, okay? Every single day you're making a decision, right? You're either making a decision to win or you're making a decision to lose, okay? And if you've been beaten up up to this point, right, and you're looking for a way out, you're looking for something, you're looking for a group of people, you're looking for a system, you're looking for something, right? The opportunity is right in front of your face, right? right? I mean, literally. And one of the quotes that my wife has, babe, what's your quote? I have a lot of them. Dude, I'm trying to brand you. But which one, baby? I have a lot of them. Okay, forget it. She forgot. The no. one that you just did. The new one? Yeah, the new one. All right, the new one. You ready for this one? Cassandra Lee quote right here. Ah, okay. When you walk away from a challenge, it's like walking away from the opportunity from seeing a better version of you. Oh! That's right. When you walk away from a challenge, it's like walking away from the opportunity to see a better version of you. Of you. So what's the what's what's the challenge here? You don't have time. You don't understand the internet stuff. You don't really get it. Well, guys, look. If you continue to keep walking away from this, you're never going to become the best person that you could be. Like my wife just mentioned, right? But the thing is that this challenge, this problem that you have in your life, will only get bigger. You know, I'm just so tired of hearing people say, "I don't have time." Okay, I'd love to do it, but I don't have time. I'd love to do it, but I don't have money. And then I ask them the next question to say. Okay, well, if you don't have the money to get started today, then how long is it going to actually take you to finally make the money that you need, right, with what you're currently doing? <laughs> and then they answer, well, it's never going to happen. Wow. So then are you saying that you're never, ever, ever, ever going to have the money to do this? Oh, that's what you're saying, right? Look, guys, I had another conversation with some lady today, and she said, man, you know, I don't get why you got to sell stuff. <laughs> why, why can't you just give this stuff for free? Like, I don't, I don't have the money, okay? It may be a reality to you, she told me. It may be a reality to you because where you are right now in your life. But right now, I don't think you get me. I don't think you get me. What do you mean? She's like, 
right now I literally have $25 in my bank account, which by the way is enough money to get you started with the blog when you click the blog. <laughs> okay? And then she says, she says, I'm broke. I'm freaking broke. I don't have the money. I'm not going to be able to get the money. Okay? I was like, well, it seems like you're really not to the point where you have urgency in your life and your back is against the wall. I said, you ever seen the movie John Q? Right? You ever, who's ever seen that movie? Phenomenal movie. Denzel Washington delivers it, right? That man, right, when you look at that man, that guy's a definition of a whatever it takes, which happens to be, I think, based on a true story. Maybe I'm lying. I don't know. Right? <laughs> but anyways, he does whatever it takes, man. That guy was broke. That guy didn't have any money. You saw that movie? You saw what he did for his kid? Yes, I you did, saw how he, You know how he, dude, he wasn't letting his kid die. And some of you guys have completely been okay with your kids dying, right? You say, I don't have kids. My kids are fine. My kids are healthy. Your dude, kids are your, dreams. your kids are your dreams, dude. Your dreams. You're okay with letting your kids die? You're not willing to do whatever it takes? You're willing to settle for average? Look, listen, I told this lady, I said, look, listen, maybe this is not a good fit for you, right? And the truth is, guys, is that maybe this is or maybe this isn't a good fit for you, but you need to go ahead and click the blog right now. Click on that button, add it to cart. It's only $25. Get in, get started, and here's what we're going to do for you guys, okay? Number one, we're going to do coaching, a new member's orientation that we have here in our team, okay? Woo! We're going to get that. That's $297. Value. Well, we're going to be spending 30 to 45 minutes with you, yes, of our time, to share with you some of the things that we believe is going to make all the difference inside of your business, okay? The second thing that we're just going to be willingly wanting to give you is that you're going to be having the opportunity to actually be part of a mastermind group that can really change everything in your life. Be plugged into a community like these, like several of these people on this panel, right? You're going to get the opportunity even to actually be on this panel when you do that coaching strategy and when you make another decision to want to commit to this, right? The first thing you need to do right now is just make the decision. Make the decision, let go, and just, just do it, right? You know, one of the things that my wife mentioned to me today, she said, man, you know, Selena was walking one day throughout the carnival or whatever she was at, and one of her friends, right, she looks at her and says, and she's they're looking at all these big old rides, and she's like, wow, wow, wow. And they point out one where you you got a bungee jump, right? Uh -huh. She went there. Uh, she points to me. She says, oh, my God, look at that one over there, right? And I was like, oh, you're not going to do it, Selena. You little pussy, right? Oh, you little blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, bet. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. And the guy's like, I triple doggy dare you to do it, right? She's like, fine. I'll do it. And she walks over there to this big old bungee uh, station, right, where she's going to jump off, right? Right? And she climbs up to it, and she's doing it. And everyone's like, oh, my God, she's going to do it. They're like, of course she's going to do it. She's Selena, okay? This is Selena. She does it, man. She's not afraid. She's not afraid. She's going to do it, right? And then she gets up on the thing, and it's like, she's like this little elevator that's taking her up, right, all the way to the to the 100th million foot of the air, <laughs> right? And then, you know, the guy's there, and then finally fear hits her heart. Oh, I'm afraid, right? You might be afraid now, right? You might be a little afraid of making a decision, getting started with something that you have no idea. And she's afraid, and as she's going up, right, she's finally there. She's looking at it. She starts looking how high in the sky she is, and as she looks down, she can see that her friends have now become ants, believe it or not. They became so tiny they look like ants, right? And the guy looks at her and says, stop looking down, because if you keep looking down, it's going to be harder for you, right? Stop doing it. And she's like, oh, man. And then he looks at her and he says, you know what the hardest thing is, Selena? Just letting go. Just letting go. The hardest thing is sometimes we're not willing to let go of our beliefs. We're not willing to let go of what we've been taught. We're not willing to let go of what we've been conditioned to believe is the only way to make money. And what I'm telling you right now, guys, is that the longer you wait on making a decision to get started, you click on that button to add to cart, what's going to happen is that you're feeding your fears, okay? How you feed your fear is time, okay? And this goes out for anyone and for myself. We all feel fear. And when fear strikes our heart, it's a good indication that we're doing something that's going to get us out of the comfort zone. And the comfort zone is where poverty strikes, okay? And what happens is that instead of just doing it, we kind of hesitate, and then we start thinking about it, and then we start imagining it. And all, all of this negativity comes in, right? And then we never do it because fear immobilizes you. Mm. How long has fear stopped you from doing the things that you want, right? 
Is it going to stop you from learning this beautiful skill set, this art, this life-changing career skill set that you're going to be learning here? Or, is it, or are you just going to take action? Because the fastest way to literally get over this is by clicking the button right now. Absolutely. Just get started right now Man. and make a decision to get started. Why, why a block? Well, because it's one of the things that you're going to need to start building this web. You're going to need the block. So go get the block because you're going to need it to start building this web. That's the reason. Some of you are like, I don't get why I got to get a blog for it. Hello? Did you not hear me that you need content? You ain't got a blog. You don't have a blog, right? You don't have a good one at least. Get one. Get a good one. This one's really good, man. I freaking love this blog. It is so amazing. Man, I can't stop blogging. It's amazing. It helps me get all this done. It's a part of my web. You need it, and you want the information that we have. You want the teamship that we have. You want to learn how to do all this, go ahead and get it. I want each one of you to come on out here and tell me what your favorite, favorite, favorite part was of the night and why everyone out there needs to make the same decision to get started. Your favorite part and why the people in the audience need to go ahead and make a decision. Go ahead. Let's have it. Well, um, well, when I could focus when Paolo wasn't flipping across the camera, um, I guess the best part for me would be the spider web. And the reason I say the spider web is because a lot of people are visual learners. And with being a visual learner, the fact that you drew this web and you put the boxes around the web and you're showing us that everything is connected. If you look at this web, everybody, everything on this web is connected. The blog, uh, podcasts webinars, anything that you choose to do for your business, it all can connect and come back to something else and can help you make money. So that's the biggest thing I took from this. As long as you're doing something, create that one piece of content and then you can connect it to the web of everything else that's connected to your business. That's what I took from this. If this alone doesn't make you want to sign up tonight with a power couple, something's wrong. Something's wrong because this is the master plan and if it's not working in your business without them then you need to jump on board and make it happen. Booyah! That, I love it man. I love it. Nico, Nico kicked butt last night man. Her and James man they took over that quantum call and they quantified. And Nico's on fire yo. I've never seen Nico in so much action. I've never Never seen me going so much action. It's going on the 170 degree challenge. I can't wait to see you in Vegas, man. You are going to make, I'm telling you, you you going into Vegas with a bang. You're going into Vegas with a bang. Keep up. Stay consistent. Remember, the problem is not the actions. It's the people that don't keep doing them. Girl, you are on fire. Fuego. Right? Let's have, uh, <laughs> let's have uh, James. He's already unmuted. Go ahead, man. All right, I, you know, Paolo, what you were saying earlier about how if you don't take action now, you, 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 people are going to be like, what were you thinking? I saw this system, not even this, it was actually not as awesome as this back in 2008. And people that I'm sharing, that I've been sharing this with, some of my close business part, <clears throat> partners and friends have said, why didn't you just do it back then, man? Like, where could we be right now if we were there, you know? And I just, the thing that really hit me in this, the thing that I was just thinking about was, I don't know if you guys realize this, guys. Let me bring you closer here, okay? Each one of these things, I took some notes here on my, uh, This is, by the way, this is a picture frame. Uh, I didn't, I didn't uh, order my, uh, my whiteboard yet, so I took down a picture frame, and look, you... You don't need a lot of money to do this business, okay? <laughs> but here's the here's the thing. Each one of these boxes, this is like 10 minutes. This is like 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes to do each one of these things. And then what you do after you set it up, okay, is you can syndicate it five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, each one of these things. This is like a couple of hours. You could do one thing a day. How many of these can you set up? Even if you're new, all right, let's just be realistic. If you're brand new, you don't even know what you're doing. you got to figure it out. Half an hour, 45 minutes in the, uh, for the first one maybe, half an hour, half an hour. After a week, two weeks of doing this, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. I just want to, I just if you haven't seen what's going on here, guys, <laughs> you got to just 
take it for, for what it is and trust us and just click the link and get it. You'll see the rest on the inside. Join the team. We'll train you. We're going to walk you through everything. Uh, click, the, click the link. I think it's over here, right? It's over there. Yeah, it's over there. Just, you know, if you can't, if you don't have a touch screen and you can't push it, you know, make sure you press the, the left click button on there. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I, I love the fact that you freaking, like, drew your notes the same way, man. That's awesome, dude. This guy, this guy's on fire. Ever since this guy connected with Power Quantum, he's been quantifying literally everything around him. You know, you, you're a perfect example of our vision and our mission statement. You know, our vision and mission statement is to liberate people from the grip of money so that they can quantify what matters most to them. And dude, you're, that's exactly what, what's happening. And so that warms my heart because the mission statement is alive and well in what you're doing, man. So just keep it up. Keep it up. Let's have somebody else coming out here. Your favorite part of the night, why they need to go ahead and get the blog. Let's go. Well, my favorite part of the uh, tonight is the fact that you can have one piece of content and then you can syndicate it all over the web, whether it be the blog, a video, a podcast, iTunes. I mean, what is, I mean, you, you, there's nothing, it's so simple. So very simple, you know, and it doesn't take long to do it. Just one piece of the content, you know, and it's awesome. I really, really enjoyed it. And people should think, well, about next year, you know, what are they, where are they going to be? this time next year? Are they going to be in the same situation that they are in right now, next year? Or, you know, do this and be in a completely different place by this time next year? So, I think that you need to get in because you all break it down so simple and it's it's easy. You make it easy to understand. And I love you guys. <laughs> we love you too, Tina. I just love I just, I love how you explain it. It's simple. It's simple. You know, it's easy. <laughs> I love that, you know. Uh, man, you know, guys, take Tina's advice. Go ahead and take action, man, because it's simple and it's easy. Let's have Regina come on out here and uh, tell everyone your favorite part and why everyone needs to go ahead and get the blog. Really, the whole thing is my favorite. Uh, I don't know. I just I love spaghetti, but I like money more. You know, <laughs> so uh, all of it was really my favorite part. Uh, I will say this though: uh, everybody here on the panel gets it. Um, if we get it, honestly, everybody should get it. It's like so simple, like Tina said. But here's what I find. I find that people look so hard for something to make them money, a system that's going to work that they make it more difficult than what it really is. And when you got a system that is this simple, like James said, it takes maybe 10 minutes on each particular area, the content, the, the capture page, the bridge page, sales page, all that takes no time at all. And it's so easy, it's so simple. It's broken down so that anybody can understand it. But like I said, what I find more people make it more difficult than what it is. But I, I tell you right now, everybody here on the panel understands it. We're the we're leaders. We can help teach and train you throughout this whole entire thing. So yeah, you really need to get the block and get started because yeah, you know, like Tina said, I mean, do you want to be stuck spinning your wheels in the same spot 10 years down the road? I don't, and nobody on the panel here wants to be, and we don't want you to be either. So, yeah, you need to get uh, get the blog, get started, and let's rock and roll. Yeah, let's rock and roll, man. Let's rock and roll, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's 
uh, hashtag free workshop Wednesday. Congratulations to those who have made the decision to get the blog right over there. And if you're still waiting, I don't know what you're waiting for, but we are here every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, and we're excited to always be here and teach you some awesome, valuable things and drop the knowledge, man. Uh, we love you guys, and we'll see you next week on hashtag Free Workshop Wednesdays. This is The Power Couple.